let's move to the next uh, question. Okay. If magnitude of Z equals to 1 and omega is equal to Z minus 1 divided by Z plus 1. Okay. Z is not equal to minus 1. Uh, find the real part of omega. Okay, one of the previous question paper problem. So, answer is straightforward. They have given Z is equal to 1 and the uh, we know that we can since the magnitude is one you can uh, write this z as polar format that is r e e to the power i theta right so r is one magnitude is one so simply write this as e to the power i theta so the question says that omega is equal to z minus 1 by z plus 1 but what is z z is e to the i theta e to the i theta minus 1 divided by e to the i theta plus 1 okay so this is a standard formula for uh, i times tan of theta by 2 okay e to the i theta minus 1 by e to the i theta plus 1 is i times tan theta by 2 this is actually right imaginary because i into something so since this is imaginary what is the real part so this means the real of omega is equal to zero okay right so we'll solve another question now this is also a question paper problem. Right. If A divided by A1 plus B divided by B1 plus C divided by C1 is equal to 1 plus I and a1 by a plus b1 by b plus c1 by c equal to 0 find value of a square by a1 square b square by b1 square plus c square by c1 square okay this is a question solve uh, time this is what you have to use okay relate this with this and try to find a uh, second term this term using the given data so we start from what has been given so the given data is nothing but uh, okay the a by a1 plus b by b1 plus c by c1 is equal to 1 plus i and the kutya. So, nanage beka girodu prati yandu term kuda square aagya. Right? So, the only way to do this is squaring both sides. Right. When you square, you get a square by a1 square plus b square by b1 square 
plus c square by c c1 square is stable all you know extra term but because you are multiplying this with this this with this and so on right where then i multiply marudu anta i am going to get some extra terms that is two times this is ab by a1 b1 plus bc by b1 c1 plus this is ca by c1 a1 this is the term i am going to get on the left hand side equal to squaring the right hand side i plus 1 whole square is 1 square is 1 plus i square second term plus 2 ab so that is 2 into i okay now it is matter what is called beko idan hegadru madi tegibeku aga namge answer sigutte all right fine so let's do this this is in equal to a by a1 a square by a1 square plus b square by b1 square plus c square by c1 square plus in each term let me try to take out a b c okay so i'll try to take out a b c from numerator and a1 b1 c1 from the denominator yake endre when a b c goes out right a b c goes out c is the first term only so c goes to the denominator and when you try to take a a1 b1 c1 from the denominator right there is no c1 so i have to supply a c1 in the numerator so this is c1 by c plus in the second term there is no a so this is a1 by a and in the third term you don't have a b so this is b1 by b e term will get on the right hand side one i square is minus one Plus two i. Now we check. They have given secondary data. That is, if you have a one by a plus b one by b plus c one by c, then that is equal to zero. So just check a one by a plus b one by b plus c one by c, which means this is zero. I can. I don't have to. Consider that at all. This whole term is zero. So since the whatever is inside the bracket is zero, this whole term is zero. Correct? None of them very well can done it. So I can simply write that this implies a square by a one square plus b square by b one square plus c square by c one square equal to the one one cancel like that two i. So two i is there as one of the answers of uh, four options. Okay, as well. Then, okay. Next question. Find the mirror image of the curve. Mirror image of the curve. This is the curve. A R G of z minus three divided by z minus i equals to pi by six. Okay, so mirror image in that way. Let us say we consider a curve like this. If this is a curve given by this equation, then only mirror it is in the curve. Okay, in the mirror, like y-axis, you you place a mirror over there. What you can see on this is something like this. What is the equation of this? The calculator, right? But since z is given, this is actually a complex number problem, right? Generally, we can solve this problem even in analytical geometry. Ali kora idhar taro the questions ana solve mara kar dete. But uh, as of now, since this is a complex number question, we have to solve under this category. Okay, there is a very standard procedure to do this. so in general when you want to find a mirror image in case of uh in case of a complex number simply replace by z so replace the z by z bar okay so 
we start with that so arg of so z bar minus 3 divided by z bar minus i because every point z on the first curve becomes a z bar on the second curve okay so angle argument means angle right so this has to be pi by 6 so at the eradu curve you same irutte it's not going to change so this is the actual curve but anyway we have to simplify so is to straight forward it all the question i want to so one of the four answers will be slightly modified than this so because we have one property the property is like this if you have argument of z bar this is nothing but minus of argument of z so argument of z bar beku antandre nan argument minus of argument of z anta vedi right so since both numerator as well as denominator has the z bar you can write this is minus argument of z minus 3 divided by z minus i Uh, I'm taking a minus outside, so this is z bar is minus, so z denominatorly bande aga it is plus i. Okay, so plus i should be equal to pi by six. Okay, so again angle negative bande. If angle is negative, you can actually swap them, right? Numerator denominator na nu ulta mar kontra, to positive aga. So I think this is present in one of the answers. Okay, we did that. So this implies argument of z plus i divided by z minus three equal to pi by six is the required answer. Okay. Next question. If omega is equal to oh, okay. if omega is is a cube root of unity. One by a plus omega plus one by b plus omega one by c plus omega equals to two omega square and one divided by a plus omega square plus one by b plus omega square plus 1 by c plus omega square is equal to 2 omega then find this this is 1 by a plus 1 plus 1 by b plus 1 plus 1 by c plus 1 is how much uh, this means I can write it in this fashion. So what is given I will rewrite now that is 1 by a plus omega plus 1 by b plus omega plus 1 by c plus omega is nothing but 2 omega square but I know that omega square is 1 by omega from the basics of uh, cube roots of unity I can write this as 2 by omega call this is equation 1. Similarly, write the other given data that is a plus omega square plus 1 divided by 1 divided by c plus omega square. Okay, so this is equal to now it's given as a 2 omega that is equal to 2 by omega square. So this is equation number 2. So comparing 1 and 2, I can generally in general I can write an equation. So, 1 by a plus x plus 1 by b plus x plus 1 by c plus x is nothing but 2 by x, right? This is the general equation. 
ये बोथ द ओमेगा एंड ओमेगा स्क्वेयर आर द रूट्स ऑफ दिस इक्वेशन करेक्ट सो व्हेन दैट हैपेंस आई कैन एक्चुअली सिंपलीफाई दिस इन द फॉलोइंग फैक्शन सो आई विल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई विल टेक ए कॉमन डिनोमिनेटर एंड विल क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई ओके सो दिस इज सो on the left hand side x comes to this side and x gets multiplied with i take a common denominator that is a a plus x into b plus x into c plus x on the left hand side so that i can write this is b plus x into c plus x first term plus second term is c plus x into a plus x and the last term is a plus x into c plus x uh, okay so there is a c plus x so let's correct the last term to b plus x a plus x into b plus x this is the left hand side equal to two times make a common denominator moving to the other side that is a plus x we can do we can b c into x all right now let us multiply the terms okay so this is ax bx plus c x ax bx c x all right so this is x into this is x into x is x square plus x b x c so x into b plus c plus b c right plus once again x square plus x into a plus c plus a c okay then plus x square plus x into a plus b plus a b okay this is the left hand side equal to two times a plus x into this is x square plus x into b plus c plus b c so this is every term will get uh, multiplied by x now so okay let's try to cancel x in a later stage so this is x uh, x into x square x square x square there are three x squares right so 3x square becomes into x is 3x cube on the left hand side right plus x into x that is x square x square x square so we'll write the uh, x into x x square x square is common then you write b plus c a plus c and a plus b so this is two times a plus uh, b plus c second term then i have plus x into bc ac ab so this is bc plus ac plus ab 
okay so this is what is on the left hand side right hand side we need to simplify so this is two times So first multiply with uh, a and then we multiply with x. So this is ax squared plus ax into b plus c plus uh, a uh, abc. Plus abc, that's the first term. Plus now multiply with x, so this is x cube, then x square plus this is x square into b plus c, then we have x into b c. Okay, now we will move the term to the left side, 3x cube minus 2 times x cube is x cube. Then, uh, let's move on to the x square term. So, 2x square, ax square. Okay, you can see this. This term, 2x square, a, b, c, will cancel with 2x square, a, x square, b, x square, c. So, no x square terms. Okay, then, uh, there are two terms of a x into x into b c x into a and x into b c okay so that means it is only one term that is left over so you have uh, right side only only there left only one there so when it comes to the left side it is negative so minus x into this is a b plus b c plus c so then I am left with only ABC terms. So 2 ABC on the right hand side when it comes to the left it is minus 2 ABC right hand side equal to 0. Okay, now we see it's a the, the equation of uh, third degree x cube is there. So I don't see any term containing x square. Right? So this means the coefficient of x square equal to 0. Well, in a third degree equation, if you say the coefficient of x square is 0, this means the sum of the roots are equal to 0. So, sum of the roots are 0. Two roots we already know. One is omega, one is omega uh, square. So the third root, let's assume alpha. So alpha plus omega plus omega square equal to zero. You already know that omega and omega square are the roots. One is omega, one is omega square. They are already the roots of this equation. So I just have to find what is the other root. Okay. So I know already know that since omega and omega square, so this is 1 plus omega plus omega square is 0 already known. So that means omega plus omega square is minus 1. So alpha minus 1 is equal to 0. This means alpha is equal to 1. So the third root of our equation is 1. So simply put 1 over there in this equation. Equation 3, simply put the value of x is equal to 1. So that is the asked question there. So you can see that find the value of 1, right? Simply substitute, you get the answer. So in the third equation, we'll put x equal to 1. So the equation number 3 gives 1 divided by a plus 1 plus 1 divided by b plus 1 plus 1 divided by c plus 1 should be equal to, it's 2 by x. 2 by 1, so the answer is 2. And uh, 2 is there in the answer. Okay. Next topic. So here we completed with the complex numbers. Okay. Let's move on to the next uh, topic. 
the next topic is um, all right this is theory of equations okay so basically we are looking at various types of polynomials right uh, linear equations quadratic equations standard quadratic equations etc right this is what is going to come in this particular chapter and uh, most of the time we get five to six questions at least right in the exams all right so first uh, point is that the what do you mean by a polynomial so specifically we are looking at uh, one variable initial polynomial of one variable right if you are trying to write any equation in the following format then we call it as a polynomial of one variable say f of x equals to this is something like a naught into x to the n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 plus let's write one more a2 x to the n minus 2 plus dot 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 and the last term could be a n minus 1 into x to the power 1 plus something like a n into x to the power 0 right if at all we try to write an equation like this such that the x is a variable and say a naught a1 a2 they are the the constants <coughs> okay if this is the equation if you can write something like this this is called as a polynomial of one variable and the variable is x over here right so varieties of uh, polynomials are possible like real the x is a real quantity the solution of this equation if it is real then the polynomial is said to be a real polynomial okay this, let me just write the names over here what are the types of polynomials you have so first one could be a real Okay, the second one could be complex, wherein the either the roots are polynomial or these coefficients are complex, right? So in real, all the a naught, a one, a two, etc. are real. If a one, a two, a naught, etc. are complex, then the equation is said to be a complex polynomial. Okay, then. You can have a third type this is called as the rational so for rational i can give an example such as so this is 2x square divided by x cube plus 4x square plus 3x plus 9 so it is a rational numerator and denominator if we get uh, such polynomials right where you have a numerator polynomial and a denominator polynomial we are going to call them as uh, the rational polynomials right then the important uh, concept about uh, the polynomials is a degree of polynomial right so degree of polynomial basically refers to the highest power of the variable x in the equation so this is highest 
power of the variable. Variable x in the given equation is called as the degree of the polynomial. Okay, now we have a polynomial with us, and we if we equate it to zero, right, we get what is called as a polynomial equation, right? For any given polynomial. If we write the f of x equal to 0, then the equation you get is called as the polynomial equation, where f of x is a polynomial. Okay, now let us try to write the varieties of polynomials first because we use up to the degree 3. So when degree is 1, right, these are the examples. If you write ax plus b is equal to 0, this is said to be a linear equation. In a sense, linear polynomial which is a linear. Okay, then let's go to the second case that is ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0. If it is in the following format, then the equation is said to be quadratic equation. Similarly, we have a third case that is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d. If you equate that to 0, this is called as a cubic cubic equation and so on we have a fourth degree coming up ax power 4 plus bx cube and so on that we use less but there is a name for that it is biquadratic equation if the highest degree is 5 we call that as a pentic equation and so on we have many names coming up but anyway these three are sufficient for us Right. Then the next term related to the polynomial is called as the roots of uh, the equation. So that is, uh, it contains the values that satisfy uh, the given polynomial equation f of x equal to 0. Those values of x which satisfies the given equation we call it as a root of that particular polynomial equation. Okay, then the next term which is important here is solution set of uh, an equation, right? This is actually a set of all the possible roots of a polynomial equation. So for example, if there is a cubic equation, we have three roots. The set of all the three roots is nothing but the solution set of that equation. Okay, so uh -huh. 
right? Then first let's consider a linear equation. So linear equation as this probably understood ax plus b equal to c uh, sorry zero is a linear equation. So what's the root? X is equal to minus of b by a. B goes to the other side as minus b divided by this. So this is a unique root of the uh, equation, right? That's the characteristic of a linear equation which has only one root. All right. So let's go for a quick example. So I want uh, to solve this one that is x by 2 plus 3x minus 1 divided by 6 is equal to 1 minus x by 2. Okay, so we'll move the terms containing x to one side, terms which are constants to the other side. So first term is x by 2 then there is another x by 2 which can move to the left and that becomes plus x by 2 and there is 3x by 6 which is also x by 2 so plus x by 2 so those are the x terms there is a 1 on the right side and we have minus 1 by 6 here which moves to the right side as plus 1 by 6 <laughs> So x by 2, x by 2, x by 2 is 3x by 2 that is equal to on the right hand side you can see that 1 plus 1 by 6 which is a 6 plus 1 so 7 by 6. Okay so 2 cancels this as 3 so x is equal to 7 divided by uh, 3 into 3 is 9 is the required answer. Right, moving further. Okay, I want to solve a minus three times x plus five is equal to a plus uh, 2 okay so I move the constant to other side first so this is a minus 3 into x is equal to this is a plus 2 minus 5 so a minus 3 so you can see a minus 3 a minus 3 cancels so x is equal to 1 is the required answer 